All right. In the first recording, I went about uh, cutting up this simple red part using an additive methodology. So first we had just the L shape. We sketched that and extruded it. Then we added a block to the edge and then extruded here to create this piece. And so we're adding on blocks or adding on areas of um, the model adding to it, and that's what we might refer to as additive construction. In this video, we're going to go ahead and walk through a subtractive method. So I click the plus to create a new design. I'm going to go up and click save right now, and then I'll call this red part subtractive. All right, and click save. And it saves it up here and creates it in my data panel. If you want, you can then uh, minimize your data panel, or if you want, you can leave it open. Up to you. Depends on how you want to use your screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a overall block that is for this sketch and uh, basically a one and a half inch cube uh, starting at the origin. So I selected my uh, XY plane. I'm going to move up and to the right. And then once that's highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and type 1.5. Then I hit tab on my keyboard, 1.5, and then hit enter. And so now I have a square that is one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Click finish sketch. Then I'm going to go to extrude. Take the little blue arrow, pull it towards me, and type 1.5. So now I've created a block that is 1.5 by 1.5. If I double click on my scroll wheel, it zooms in to fit the screen here. And now I'm going to cut away sections until it looks like the part that I'm trying to make. So the first step, I'm going to start a new sketch. I'm going to click on the top face, and then I'm going to select my two-point rectangle tool, move to the lower right-hand corner, left-click once, move up and to the left, and now I'm going to type 0.75, hit the tab key, and type 0.75, then hit enter. Now I've got this square fully dimensioned. The sides are black which means it's fully constrained because it has a uh, constraint here and then all the sides are equal and dimensioned and then I will finish the sketch. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to extrude but this time when I select the square instead of pulling upwards to add a piece I'm going to pull downwards and we're going to see that that starts cutting away at this main object. Now in the right hand side I've got my extrude uh, panel here that then I can change I can either set a distance so in this case I could say I want to go a distance of 1.5 inches and it's going to cut away there so let's go ahead and we'll do the first one like that 1.5 inches it extrudes through it's set to cut this will default when I begin to grab the uh, blue arrow and pull it down into the object. It'll default to cut, but you can always switch these um, to be additive or to join or intersect. Um, here we're going to do cut, and I'm going to click OK, and that's going to remove that section of the large cube, or you might say it's going to subtract it. Now the next thing, I'm going to start another sketch. In this case, I want to click this inside face. I'm going to get my rectangle tool, click in the upper right hand corner, move down. You'll notice that if you find the middle point, it'll give you a triangle. Otherwise, you can go ahead and do 0.75, tab 0.75, and then hit enter. So now I have my square there. I'm going to finish the sketch. In this case, I'll hit E for extrude rather than moving my mouse up there. And then 
now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the square and start pushing the arrow in. And rather than setting a distance this time, I'm going to change my extent to go to to object. And in this case, I'll go ahead and orbit around, click the far side of the object, and it's going to automatically cut to that wall. So that's another way I can set the depth of my extrusion or the depth of my cut. And then I'll go ahead and click OK. Now we need one last maneuver here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch, select this side, go to my rectangle tool, click in the corner, lock to this corner. I can see it's 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Finish my sketch. Click Extrude, click on this. And then the last option I've got is to push this inward, then I'm in Cut, and instead of Distance Object, I'm going to go ahead and do All, and that's going to cut through all of the object, no matter what's there, how big it is, and then click OK. And now, if I go back to my Home View, you can see I have created the same part as I did when I did the Additive Structure, but through a subtractive method. For good measure, I'm going to go ahead and click Modify, uh, pick an appearance. Once my appearance window pick opens up, uh, in this case, let's go to uh, Paint, open the folder, Powder Coat Smooth. Um, I could do a red, but uh, let's, let's go ahead and do yellow this time. Grab that, put it on there. And now I have a yellow puzzle cube part um, similar to my red one. Go ahead and close that. And I will go up and hit save. Now you'll notice that it says add version description. And I'm going to go ahead and say complete subtraction. Subtractive model. And that names the version for me. And now I've got version one, and this is the part. All right, that's it. Have a good day.